300, right? I remember Sarah Silverman, who has rejected logos, had a joke that I actually found very funny. She said 300 is how gay that movie is out of 10. I just thought that was funny. But see, I don't find the movie gay at all. And I think that may be one of the reasons that it slipped through the, um, the cracks of Hollywood because the, you know, the gays and the non-logos people may have saw the abs and the men and the grunting and stuff and been like, oh, great, gay. It's not. There's nothing. There's no gay undertone about 300. The reality of that army was much gayer than the movie was. The movie was a cartoon. It was a graphic novel vibe, but pure logos, because I have no idea how this movie made it through. All right, I'll just show you a few um, word, uh, scenes. Like this word, Persian, choose your words carefully. You know, in Sparta, a man is responsible for what he speaks. Logos. He's saying, listen, where you come from, you can say up is down and down is up, and that's part of your culture. In Sparta, you are responsible for what you say. And then he said something that the Spartan found offensive, and uh, it broke Logos, and he kicked him into a well. (laughs) <laughs> All right, so that is the opposite of subversion. He's saying, you are responsible. He warns them. That wasn't an act of cruelty. That was uh, self-preservation. He says, you are responsible for the words you speak. Know that before you speak. And then the man basically said, become slaves to my king or die. And, and Leonidas said, You're, you just said that to us. That's pure logos. Like this image, you know, that is just men who have defeated many, many more men. <laughs> and like when Sarah Silverman made, made that joke about this movie being gay, I, I, I don't see anything gay about this movie. We'll get to the UFC. That isn't because n- nothing about the movie is aimed at sexuality. Nothing. And if it just a male body isn't gay. I'll, we'll get to the UFC. Okay, like this. The acceptance of pain for logos. Look at that. Look, all those arrows, you know. I felt I looked at that picture once when I was getting uh, Twitter, uh, Twitter annihilated. You know, the shame squads on social media. You know, it's all a metaphor for the same thing. And he accepted it. Because he wasn't going to kneel. He was not going to kneel to a king who rejected logos. Who, a king who thought he was a god. That was the whole point. Uh, who was transsexual. You know, this whole movie undercuts all of Hollywood. That's why I don't understand how it got made. I think they tricked the gays into thinking it was gay when it wasn't gay. So you have a repudiation of gender, which is uh, Xerxes. You know, he's he's covered in, in jewelry and gold. And he... Uh, He has a a very, like, non-gender vibe, like, very transsexual vibe, and um, he's not Logos. He's not a warrior, but he has all power, and he sees himself as a god, and he says, I'm a kind, I'm a kind god. All I ask of you is to kneel. And Leonidas just laughs at it. You know, not only is he not scared, he thinks that person's pathetic, which, which he is. And then we get to the hunchback. The hunchback is the Sela, the hunchback is the Judas. Because the hunchback wanted to be uh, a a 300 warrior. And Leonidas was kind about it. It wasn't an act of cruelty. He said, you can help us in ways, but you can't uh, serve if you're gonna be a a weak point in our unit or else men will die. You know, it's a meritocracy. It's like, if you can't do it, you can't do it. You know, it's based on reality this is the reality and he's like you can help us you know you can bring food whatever and he's like i just want to have he wanted prestige he wanted to wear the hat he wanted the the armor he wanted the sword and and leonidas is like that's not what it's about it's about pr- protecting the logos and so this guy would do anything for the prestige and he's twisted and mangled and weak and so Uh, When the transsexual character, the rejection of gender, of form, tells the hunchback, I will make you a warlord. I will give you 
swords and weapons and, and, and ribbons and bows and sex, you know, and there's these naked women everywhere. And he's like, all I ask of you is to kneel. And he, and he kneels and he's like, thank you. And he worships. And so he gets, he gets what, he gets what he wanted and it is terrible. You know, at the end, he sees what he has done, and there's no going back. And and Leonidas weep, not weeps for him, but he looks at him and says, basically, I hope you live a long life. And, and, and the hunchback looks away in shame. And then the end, the imagery is right there, the Christ imagery. The, the movie 300 is completely rooted in logos, which is so unlike Hollywood movies. I think when Hollywood realized that, they took it and they made it a woman and they made it uh, nonsense. There's no um, logos in 300 Rise of an Empire. None. It's gone. And they, they made sure they, they ruined it uh, because I think, I think the gays were so obsessed with the abs that they missed the whole point of 300.